from beyond. <laughs> right, this is my gallery. <laughs> oh, I started painting uh, in the last few years leading up to finding Brian. Um, I soon realised that what I was painting was coming alive. And after I named each title, um, I would begin living out what the title was saying to me. So they're all prophetic. And I started with just a dinky little um, canvas from the Golo store. I called this in the beginning. To me, it's like the beginning of creation and how just one thing leads from another, but the original being thought. And uh, here we have building blocks. So I had fun with that. And my second painting over here in the corner, the original being um, this one here. This one is a, a print of the original, but I call this the House of Cards. On the right, or rather on the left, we've got a giant heaven represented by the gold, and then of course the blackness of hell here. What's separating heaven and hell really is the counterfeit plastic cards, credit, bankers, all that kind of thing that we know today is responsible for turning heaven into hell. And in my mind, it was like one flick and they're all gone. And uh, then you have heaven on earth. This is the reproduction. I instructed the framer to um, do what he did with the frame, diametrically pose there the colours. And then um, my third one was what I call Lone Star it is Missing, uh, a very structured design again. I didn't know what I was painting, but of course the heavenly um, uh, uh, picture of the New Jerusalem that, that uh, John saw on the Isle of Patmos was described as a brilliant cut diamond. That's exactly what I did, and, and so I called it the Lone Star. These are all in my soul is uh, finding um, the Christ on the earth. That was my soul drive, and so everything takes on its own life. My first free form is torchlight here, entirely experimental. Uh, didn't know what I was doing. When I finished, I thought, oh my God, that reminded me of torch flares being reflected off. Um, the, the moat, the waters surrounding